Hello and welcome to Surprise Toy Box. Time to open these Lego Super Mario blind bags. So I bought three from London Drugs for four ninety nine each. I did smoosh for them, so I think um, I got some of the ones I wanted. Um, I did it really quickly, so I can't be too sure. Hopefully, it's uh, not a duplicate. There is ten to collect. Uh, this is series one, so you know there's a lot of Mario characters, so they're probably gonna come out with a new series probably in January. Um, I know the new mini figure series is coming out then. There's actually a lot like that I want from that series. Anyways, um, I like the Goomba, I guess, and I like the Squid, but I don't think I got that one. Um, so yeah, let's just open this and put it together. Um, I thought four ninety nine for these were. A little overpriced just because um, you know they're not minifigures they're actually regular pieces um, with like uh, prints I guess um, but I thought I'd collect some of these because I actually haven't seen them in stores um, anywhere especially chapters is where I usually uh, buy my minifigs now um, I think they moved everything online um, yeah since I have the starter course I thought I'd pick one or two up so, this is the spiny shell guy. I actually don't know the names of all the um, characters, so <laughs> could be getting this wrong. Alright, so they have the little instruction booklet. And so it looks like this has an advertisement for the starter course. And you have, so you have bullet bill. Peepa Pal Track. Wait, that's just another language. <laughs> so it's Bullet Bill Peepa. Didn't know that was a name. Buzzy Beetle. Urchin. Spiny. So that's the one we got. Paragoomba. Bomb Bomb. Oops, not focused. Eep Cheap. Blooper. And Fuzzy. So, all right, let's uh, put this spiny together. So this is the, the part that I felt, the shell. It has those little spiny spots. So that's the easy way to tell. Uh, so there's a few new pieces in here, I think. So like there's this like leg piece with the little like toe prints. Uh, what else is there? So there's two of those. Um, you have this piece that the Mario, uh, I guess, reads when you play the game. Um, okay, let's try to put this together quickly. Um, I think it's like this. Oops. You guys aren't even uh, on camera here. And of course it's unfocused. Uh, let's see. It's like this. Let me know if you guys are collecting these. So here's the eyes. That goes to the front. I haven't put together the um, Mario Star course yet, but I might be doing that during my holiday. So I think it's like this, maybe? And then you put the shell on this way. Mm, this way, yes. Snap that on. Then the piece that leads it goes right on top like that. So that is the spiny itself, and then the rest of it is just like little tree stuff. So I like that they include like other random pieces. Um, that way you have more than just the character. So I think that's how you do it. One. Wait, did I do this wrong already? Hmm. Let's see. And then this one's like a shorter tree. Like that. And that goes over here. So, that is the spiny. Comes with two little trees. Pretty cute. Is this worth $5? I don't think so. You guys let me know. Okay, let's see what else we got. I guess because you need to like build everything. Let's see if there's different barcodes. Mm, nope, this number is the same. 
this number is the same. Uh, who do we have here? Yes, this is Bomb Mom. So I guess you have to pull out the instructions for each of these since they're all different figures. Let's focus in here. Does anybody else keep the packaging? I think I'm crazy because I do, but like what am I going to do with it? Because it's not like I'm reselling these. I actually have a tin full of minifigures just because I don't have enough space to um, display everything. So the front is the same. We got instructions in the back here. Let's see. So we have, I think this is the only different piece. This is the printed eye piece. And then these are the same leg feet pieces as the spine, but there's no like toe print. Um, so let's see. Let's do this. The focus on this uh, camera is terrible. Yeah, it was a printed piece. So here is the game piece. Oh, so this one has a little spiny picture, and then this one has a little bomb bomb picture. That's pretty cute. Okay, so we gotta put this on here. Oops. Wait. I think I put it wrong. Yes, I put this piece on wrong. This is supposed to go on the side. Like that. Um, so the back has a little like wind up piece. Oh, that's, I think that's new too. So they included two of them, which is nice. Um, and the top has a little candle piece. There you go. Again, there's another extra piece there. Um, and then the base part is, let's see, it's just a whole bunch of like, um, pieces like this that go together. this what else is there there's like this leaf piece a flower that goes on top there's another flower piece another candle piece and then these pieces go right here like that so this is the base and bomb -ba just sits right on top like that pretty cute so these are the extra pieces there's four extra pieces in this set um, finally there's no extra pieces in this but I guess none of them are really small I don't know okay so let's move on to our last one and it should be the Paragoomba uh, it could be the other one because there's two characters with wings and I didn't want to stay in London drugs for that long to like squish everything okay so looks like I was right. See. I could tell some of these bags are already like pre swooshed. So, okay, last one here. I kind of want the blooper. The blooper and bullet bill would be cute. The other ones, eh. I can live without. Okay, so let's put together, I guess, the base. So it's a yellow base this time because it's like a sand one. I hate the sand levels in uh, Mario. I like the easy first level where there's no water and no sand. I'm a terrible video gamer. I like die over like the simplest thing. Like jumping over a, a gap or something. So this piece, I believe, is the base plate for the Uni Kitty series. I never bought any of those. I think my sister bought like three of them. So that's a nice use of uh, pieces. Oops. So there's like a little pyramid down here. 
All right, let's put together the Goomba. So we have the Goomba face. We have these wings, which I think are new. Here is the game piece with the barcode. Little Goomba, a pair of Goomba in the corner. Okay, so here's the feet. Little brown shoes here. And we put this here. I wonder how they put together these blind bags. Like, what if they miss a piece? I think someone actually did get um, like a, a figure that had no head or something like that, but Lego couldn't replace it, so they just gave them a new blind bag. And of course, it was a different figure, so that kind of sucks. I guess it is rare, though. Uh, let's see. The game piece goes right here. The face right here what else is there these side pieces that go like this is this a new brown color I don't see many pieces or sets that have this brown so this is a Goomba and if you add the wings it becomes the Paragoomba the flying ones. I hate the flying ones. And then this goes right here on top of the cloud. So that's it. The pyramid is jumping on the cloud. So here we have our Paragoomba, the bomb -om, and Spiny. Uh, let me know if I should pick up the rest of the seven to complete this set uh, because there's sure to be more coming out. And I might as well add to my Sarr course, right? Anyways, let me know which one of your favorite is. I probably like the Paragoomba the best. Because um, that's the most recognizable character. Um, until the next video, I guess. Remember to leave a comment, subscribe, a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!